everyone! Today I wanted to share a quick digital art hack that I know people have been using for a while, but I wanted to make a short video to hopefully help those who may not know about it. I'm going to show you how to turn a cheap number keypad into a hotkey controller to use along with your drawing tablet. It doesn't matter if your tablet already has some express keys on it or not. This is going to be useful to anyone who's tired of having to use or make room for an entire keyboard while creating digital art. I found an amazing guide on instructable.com that I will link to down below in case you want to read their method. Otherwise, I'll tell you exactly what I did to create mine. So I got this keypad from Amazon and I'll have that link down below in case anybody's interested in the same one that I have right here. Otherwise, you can find them on eBay and they're pretty inexpensive. And the program I'm going to show you how to use today is called HID Macros or HID Macros. It's no longer supported, but honestly, it's the easiest to use. Another reason why I prefer this program over others is because it allows you to program commands to the keypad alone without affecting your normal keyboard. You can find a link to the site where you can download HID Macros in the description below. Since it's such a small program, it doesn't need to be installed, which is kind of nice. Once you have your keypad and your macro program ready, Make sure your keypad is plugged in and powered. It should show up in the USB devices if you need to check. Then bring up HID Macros. Since your keypad was already active, the program should be able to register if you press any of the keys. Depending on what art program you choose to draw with, you can usually find the keyboard shortcuts it has built in by looking through the menu, preferences, it shouldn't be too hard to find. If you need to, check Google for a list. Using your favorite hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts, we are going to map those to one of the 10 to 17 keys on your keypad. You can use just the numbers if you want, or you can map any other key excluding the number lock key. So I'm going to show you how to bind the keyboard shortcut for undo. In Photoshop, my undo shortcut is Control Z. So let's go to our macro program and make a new macro. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the one I already have just for this example. First, Hit new and a new macro should show up in the list and already be selected. Go over to edit macro and give it a name. Once you have that, we are going to go down to action and click send keyboard sequence. This is the box where you would want to type in control Z, but you can't type in the control command like you normally would. So let's click on help just above the test area and scroll down until you find the appendix supported modifiers for keystroke sequence. And below that, you will see a list of symbols that correspond to the common modifiers. Here we see that control is the caret symbol, or that little upward arrow symbol. Now that we know this, we can go back to the macros tab and type in caret z. So now the macro knows what you want it to do, but isn't bound to a key yet. With your keypad ready, choose a key that you would like to bind to undo and click scan. A dialog box will appear, ready to record the next key you press. I hit 7 on my keypad, and it's done. You can test it out in your drawing program and see if it went through. If not, make sure you have your shortcut correct or that you're using the correct modifier symbol in the sequence box. A side note, if your keypad has a zero and a double zero or triple zero key, that set of keys act pretty much as the same key, no matter which of the two you map. The only difference is the one that has some more zeros will do that programmed command a multiple of two to three times. It's kind of confusing and I don't use it, but the original guide I found had shown the set of keys bound to an undo command. So pressing the single zero key would undo once while pressing the triple zero key would undo three steps in a single press. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, this is pretty much all it takes to bind your favorite keyboard shortcuts to a convenient keypad. If you want to take it a step further, you can make stickers to put on the keys so you don't have to memorize what numbers do what, but that's up to you. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching. 